Hey guys, my name is Lindy, and today we are going to a Flowers of Chicago, which means a snail festival. How fun! <laughs> Should be fun, should be interesting. So I thought I would bring you guys along and kind of show you what it's all about. All right, on you up. So they had tractors at each entrance to block off cars and like it makes me laugh because that's how you know you're in the countryside <laughs> it's when they use tractors to block off exits I also thought the snail signs were just so cute <laughs> It is time for snails. It was a bit too hot to really enjoy there, so we ended up getting them to go. They had a couple of spots where you could eat surplus, or you could do takeaway, and they sold them a dozen for six euros, so I ended up getting two dozen, and we'll freeze some for later. Uh, it was also really adorable to see the village grandmas selling the snails, as they were the ones who also prepared them. And not only was there the snail festival, but there was also a little carnival going on as well. So Martigny-les-Bains used to be known for its thermal spa and was really popular in 1881 with the arrival of the train. However, after the wars, it hasn't been in use. So this village only has like 800 residents, so it's super tiny. And today it's really known for its Foire aux Escargots, or the snail festival. But you can still see the remains of this like international hotel. En plus, ça donne un peu l'histoire de... <laughs> Alors raconte <laughs> ce qui s'est passé là. <laughs> ah, donc là, je pense que c'est en démolition à l'intérieur pour mm. reconstruire parce que sur la fenêtre à gauche là, mm -hmm. on voit que c'est des matériaux euh, nouveaux ouais donc je pense que c'est en train de, de tendre en, en réhabilitation to this beautiful pavilion where the thermal spas used to be along with a really nice and spacious park. It's just so beautiful there. It is time to make snails. And if you've never had a snail, they're so good. <laughs> you do have to get like good ones and not just from anywhere, but the best ones are prepared with garlic, parsley, and butter and Oh, they're so good. And it's all like stuffed inside the shell with the snail. Now usually like to bake them, you put them in this little like snail dish that has like little divots in it. So each shell can like sit there. And then you have like a little baby fork and this like clamp thing that holds it in place so you can like actually get it out easily. However, I'm at home and I don't have any of those tools. So we're gonna like 
whip something up with some aluminum foil and create our own little dish to place them on it. All right, the big reveal. Wow, <laughs> you can smell the garlic. I got at that. It's all that smushed inside and there's a little snail peeking out. And then once this is in the oven, it'll like melt and get all ooey gooey and yummy. All right, I think this was actually quite a success. <laughs> As you can see there, like if I take it out, it has a little divot for it to sit in. There it is. So this will do the trick. Look amazing, like they're still bubbling. Like, look at this beauty. <laughs> Once you eat the snail out of it, the escargot, then you have like the butter and parsley and garlic and all that good stuff left over and you like pour it out and you use the baguette then to soak it up. But yeah, normally you have the clamp and then a baby fork, but I don't own that, so whatevs. Dun -dun. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, look at that. Ooh, that is so hot. And then now, now you have that extra sauce left. So pour that out. And then use your little baguette. Soak it up. I hope you enjoyed virtually coming with me to a snail festival in France. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to see future videos. I do a lot of videos on France, obviously, <laughs> my travels and just some random stuff here and there. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Gros bisous et à la prochaine. Salut, ciao.